There are some moments in life that just, they just feel right, you know? <laughs> but if I'm being honest, I don't notice these moments very often. This is because I'm either A, not very perceptive, big surprise there, or because I just see these moments as ordinary. I heard about the philosophy of romanticising your life, and I decided to try it out. Now this isn't about changing your life drastically, it's about noticing the details, just ordinary things. So just like about every other person on the planet, I had FOBO. I know what you're thinking, what the hell is FOBO? It basically means fear of being ordinary. Please don't judge me for saying FOBO, I'm not a boomer I swear. <laughs> When I was growing up, I had this fear that I would end up in a job that I really didn't like. And because I hated my job, I thought that I'd hate the rest of my life. Like if I don't end up doing something insane with my life, then my life is dull, so what's the point? Very deep for the first 30 seconds of a YouTube video. <laughs> so I really just wanted to take today to romanticise my life and do little things to make me very grateful that I'm on this planet. Because very often I don't really appreciate anything. But as you can see, I've been trying to change that by building habits that help me romanticise every day. So it all started with a podcast, and the subject of happiness came up. I probably won't do it any justice, so I'll just play what I heard. Happiness is here for us to experience right now. It's not somewhere else. But also that idea of there being a destination. Actually, we even need to let go of that because being present for each moment of the journey, that is the destination in itself. So this helped me reach step number one. Okay, I definitely need a moment to, uh, to process that podcast because um, very profound, very profound. <laughs> yeah, so as you can see, it had a big impact on my personal values. I realised that chasing a lifestyle that I thought would bring me happiness won't actually make me happy. I realised that romanticising your life isn't changing your life in any drastic way. It's to just appreciate the things that you already have. And there's no point chasing happiness because the only time that you can actually be happy is right now in this moment. I just thought that was cool. Probably doesn't make any sense, but I'm trying my best, guys. <laughs> okay, so if romanticising your life doesn't involve changing it, then how exactly do you do it? Step two is starting with small favours for yourself, especially on days that just feel dull, like today. So I went out and I bought myself a few of my favourite things. I've always been someone to just save all of my money. If I didn't need it, it was a waste. But there's no point being the richest person in the grave, so treat yourself and appreciate it. It doesn't have to involve money though. Some favours for yourself can be simple. Like this morning, I went to use my favourite mister to water my plants. I then went on to paint my nails, put on my favourite rings, before putting my earrings on and my necklace. I think the main purpose of this is to make sure you appreciate each favour as if it was someone else doing it for you. Now these favours can of course be different for each person. It could be putting on your favourite album, using your favourite mug, spraying your favourite perfume, even though you know that you're the only person who's gonna smell it. You lonely fuck. No, just kidding. <laughs> but everyone knows that the most valuable gift you can give yourself isn't physical or material, it's time. So step number three is be your own date. So it's fine because of the productivity-based society that we live in that giving myself a few days off really is one of the worst things. It really seems painful to give myself time out just for myself and to do a nice thing for myself. But today I'm going to take myself out and do my favourite thing in my favourite spot, roller skating, obviously. So take yourself out on a date. That is my instruction to you. I've already done this before, but I'm going to do it again because I mean, I hadn't done that for like six months. What kind of relationship only involves dates every six months? Not a very good one. Break up with your boyfriend. No, don't actually, that's very bad advice. Okay, just to clarify, you definitely don't need to break up with anyone, but doing practical things by yourself involving movement is a great way to stay mindful and present. And also just to read a book. Like, is that too much to ask to pretend for at least one second that I'm not complete brainlet that can't read anymore? <laughs> so that's exactly what I did today. I left the house with nothing but my book called Everything is Fucked because clearly I was feeling very existential. Like once I can get away from my desk and deadlines and things and just pop over to Mordor for a little bit, it makes my problems seem a lot easier. Just take yourself out on dates and do things for the hell of it. Why wait for someone else when you can do it with yourself? Either that or I'm just very lonely. <laughs> Taking yourself on dates is all well and good, but the real key here 
is reflection. If I hadn't filmed my last video, taking myself on a date alone, I would have forgotten about that date instantly. I find that if I go out and do all of these things, I never really appreciate them, I just forget it as soon as it's happened. I go full Mayfly memory. I don't know if mayflies have a memory, but there we go. <laughs> Which is why I really like to do gratitude journaling. And I know what you're thinking, words, no me gusta. I don't do words either. Which is why I've got a solution for you. I got this app. I got a new app and it is called Three Good Things. So how this app works is each day you just write three things that you're grateful for. And I'm gonna do mine right now. Uh, you know what, I'm grateful to be able to drive because if not, I wouldn't be able to get here. And I'm grateful for Lotus Biscoff ice cream. <laughs> you can tell what I had for lunch. When I get back home in the evenings though, this is the time where I really like to reflect through journaling. And recently, I've been doing this with the help of Skillshare, who's the sponsor of today's video. So if you don't know what Skillshare is, it's an online community with thousands of classes for creators. So Skillshare is curated specifically for learning, so there are no ads, and they're always launching new premium classes. If you want to build existing skills or try something entirely new, like journaling, Skillshare can help with that. I completed the course by Yasmin Shayan called Writing for Self-Discovery, Six Journaling Prompts for Gratitude and Growth. In this course, there was a section about redefining success, which really helped me make sense with what I'm going to do with my life. Skillshare has such a wide variety of categories from freelancing to filmmaking to design. So the first 1,000 people to use the link in the description will get a one month free trial of Skillshare Premium Membership. Okay, the last and final step to romanticizing your life is drum roll. Um, what the fuck was that? The last step is to document your life. Whether you want to do this through keeping souvenirs from things like tickets or taking pictures on old film cameras. For me, making these videos and taking photos helps me to put everything into a frame. Whether that's one still image or a short video, it just helps to clarify everything that's happening in my life. And looking back on these things is probably one of my favorite things to do. Every so often, I'll sit down and spread out all of my photos to remember all the connections that I've had and the special moments that I've shared. And it really does make me more excited to make more memories like this. But the way that you document your life doesn't have to be for anyone else but yourself. To kind of clarify your own life within a short space of time or a piece of art or a collage or something just to remember where you were at some point in your life is really really useful even if you're looking back to say wow how shit was that <laughs> and how far I've come now which is what I do when I look back at my old videos so for me it just really helps me to make sense of everything and to put things into words that usually I wouldn't bother to put into words because I don't like writing as we've established. But that is officially the end of this video so I really hope you enjoyed watching and if you've got anything that you want me to do as always let me know. Send me a message on Instagram, I'll probably pick it up. I also have some pretty fun cheeky photos, not cheeky, why did I say that? Just fun photos on my Instagram, go check it out. Right, I'll see you guys later, bye. Usually I grab the camera, right.